it seems like a playground, yet also a classroom. But it's all part of an exhibition at Istanbul's Artaş called I Sometimes Imagine I'm a Fish with Legs. And this here is artist Eva Kotyatkova's odd take on bulletin boards in primary school classrooms. The work is called Era, and it's critical of the order and control humans claim to have over nature as reflected in education systems. But it's not just schools. Kotyatkova tends to focus on how institutions shape individuals. Eva Kotyatkova is an artist born in 1982 in uh, Czechia, in Czech Republic. Uh, and previously it was part of Czechoslovakia, which was still in 1982 behind the Iron Curtain. So there was a lot of uh, communist Soviet influence uh, and a lot of uh, restrictions. And her artwork is particularly influenced by this. So she's taking these educational systems and sort of decomposes them, deconstructs them in order to find leeways of creativity and expression. And Kotyatkova invites visitors to lounge, dream, play and reflect here. That way the exhibition functions like a collective body. Take this work that represents a head and a body. Viewers are urged to go inside it and become part of the installation. This is a reminder that together, we're all part of a larger system. Though the piece is also an example of the cage motif that frequently shows up in her art. She's actually materializing the cages that imprison us. They are imposition of the social system or the educational or the political systems that are imposed on us, imposed on our personalities, making us behave in a certain way or limiting our movement. So because she's materializing these cages, these limitations, these boundaries, one can then um, realize what it is and perhaps then look for ways to get out of it. Another work specifically made for Artaj is Class of Differences. In making the dolls that represent school children, Kotyatkova received help from her mother. While the outfits are a reflection of their personalities, the newspapers surrounding them symbolize how the media is used as a tool to highlight normativity. To go along with this work, um, Kotatkova wrote a manifesto uh, that basically says we are a class of differences, we all embrace our individuality and our individuality is always subject to change. So you cannot limit us by rules, we define our own rules. Those who are not empathetic, those who are not understanding, uh, they will not be able to sort of join us. And what better way is there than dreams to let go of social conditioning? In this so-called daydreaming workstation, Kotyatkova urges visitors to imagine there are no boundaries between bodies and species. The key is to keep an open mind, with everyone welcome to share the experience. Zeynep Gökçe, Tiati World.